Hey guys, Paul Kipner here. Welcome back. So I've done a few videos on this Zeiss Anamorphot. A lot of people have asked various questions about it. And one of them is I had a single focus solution attached to the front of it. I had a um, SLR Magic rangefinder on the front and it literally was just screwed onto the front. And a lot of people ask how I did that. There's a beauty ring on the front which basically covers the front of the lens, the filter threads. And a lot of people don't realize that it is a ring that is removable. Uh, it almost looks like it's a solid piece. So what I did is uh, a friend of mine showed me how to actually remove this ring. And it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking <laughs> if you've never done it, but trust the process. Uh, so once you remove it, there's 86 millimeter filter threads under it. And then what, all I did is use a... 86 millimeter to 77 millimeter step down ring, screwed the ring on here, and then my range finder I was able to, to put on here. Now you can use a Rapido, uh, probably the 24A or something like that, something large would fit on here. And then you've got a very nice, high quality anamorphic lens with a single focus solution. This is one of my favorite anamorphic lenses. There are others out there like the Iskaramas and things they're pretty sharp. I'd say as sharp as the Zeiss or, or maybe just a tad bit sharper. The thing I love about this Zeiss is the flares. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's, a, it's like a blue magenta purple flare. These lenses were made in the early 50s. Uh, you don't see a lot of them around but when you do the footage from them is pretty stunning. So let's go ahead and get zoomed in a little bit and I'll show you the lens what you need to take this beauty ring off so let's get started um, I know it sounds crude but these are actually the some tools you would want something this uh, little spatula for dry roll, drywall or something like that because it's a very very thin blade you want something really thin uh, if you hear background noise like a fan or something it's because they have the air conditioning going because it's about 112 here in Texas, and so I didn't want to turn the air off anymore. Um, you also need a couple of these, a couple of screwdrivers with fine tips, small ones. I just happen to have these. You could use any of them. All right, so now that this is in focus much better, um, this area right here, this is the beauty ring that you'll be removing. And if you can see, there's a little bit of a gap in between here, the, the outside edge here, and the ring right here. There's a slight gap. So what you want to do is take something real thin and strong and pry up on it just a little bit. And that's why I suggested one of these uh, spatulas because it's a, it's a tough steel. So just look around. Sometimes you'll see areas on the ring that are raised up a little bit and some of them that aren't. So like right here, there's a little spot that's right here. So just, you want to do it carefully too. You don't want to force anything you don't want to scratch your lens. So just go right under here. And then just keep moving. And again, do not force anything. Because you definitely do not want to scratch your lens. So you can, you can see how it's starting to pull up a little bit. I'm going to do that all the way around. Sometimes it's hard. You hear that crack? It should do that. What it is is this usually, probably about 95% of the time, this ring is glued in from the factory. So that crack that you hear is actually the glue breaking. So I'll just use your little screwdriver here. Just work your way around. Thank you. 
Sorry, kids are giving the dog a bath. If you hear background noise. Hey, the air conditioning shut off. See how you're going around just... Oh, you see that? It started lifting up. This one may come off easier than the last ones. Oh, see how the, the ring's lifting up? Oh! <laughs> Never had them do that, but that's good. Makes it easy. But yeah, that's the, the ring. Like I said, they're, they're glued down, so you're not going to be able to... Usually you're not going to be able to uh, unscrew them. This one just had a little bit of glue on it. But there you go. So you should be able to see it. Now you have an 86 millimeter filter thread right here. All the way around. See? Actually, you're probably looking at it from this angle. Let's see where the screwdriver is. There's a filter thread now all the way around. So now you can screw on an 86 millimeter step down ring from here down to whatever size um, single focus solution you have and you're all set with your Zeiss. Pretty easy. Don't force it when you use this to get under the ring. Just very carefully. Um, and just lift up very carefully, very gently, go all the way around and you'll be able to take it off. All right, I guess that's good. Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to show you something. Um, so these diopters have an 86 millimeter filter thread. Just to show you. Ah, there's not a lot of room to grab it. There we go. So, there you go. <laughs> now you have a diopter on the front of your anamorpha. See the camera there. So, yep, and then you can just unscrew them, and there you go.